Do you know why music is spooky? It's because just like in language, we use idioms, things that we all recognize, things that we know what they mean. And so in music, we have these idioms as well. There's lots of things that we have, but there's really one that's spooky. It goes back to a medieval melody called the Dies Eres. It was part of the Requiem Mass. That was when, they, when people would die, they'd have a funeral. And the melody went like this. So that's the Dies Eres. Now, all throughout modern music history, we have used that same melody to create really, really awesome and spooky music. Think of it this way, in one of my favorite movies, Nightmare Before Christmas. Do you recognize it? They use it several different times throughout the movie. That entire theme is based upon the Dies Eres. Another one is Mahler's Second Symphony. There's a part where it uses the Dies Eres. The horns come in with this. Okay, same melody. Other ones that use it, the Dance Macabre uses that one. Of course, how much more Halloween can you get than that one? You have other ones, of course, like the planets. In Saturn, he uses it. Uh, Berlioz uses it in the, the Witch's Sabbath. That's another very famous one. Uh, another great movie that uses it is Poltergeist, which was written, the score was written by Jerry Goldsmith back in the like 70s, 80s, something like that. And in the last uh, scenes where it's called Escape from a Suburbia, the, they use, he uses the Dies Eres theme in that movie. So as you are listening to, to spooky music this Halloween, listen closely for that Dies Eres. <laughs> 